In this video we're using Substance 3D Designer to create welding seams. Let's go over the keynotes and parameters we'll use first. A non-uniform blur grayscale node is a high quality blur where the intensity is driven by a custom input mask. A symmetry controls the strength of the bias for the sampling. It's driven by the angle parameter. Defines the angle for the bias directionality. The Tile Generator node is a powerful node to make regular or random patterns. It's a simpler version of the Tile Sampler node with less controls and inputs. Size mode sets the general behavior of the pattern size. You can use it to change the gap or make pattern element size independent of X and Y amount. Size random X and Y sets the randomness for X and Y individually. Blending mode sets what blending mode to use. Let's build this basic welding seam setup together. You can then use it as starting point for more complex ones. Let's start with a shape node. Choose disk as pattern and reduce the scale to 0.8. We connect it to a warp node for the base deformation. As gradient input we use a pearly noise node with a scale of 8. Let's connect it to a non-uniform blur node to blur it with itself. We push the intensity slightly and bring in some asymmetry with a value of 0.25. An angle of 180 degrees gives the right direction. To increase the blur quality we tweak the samples to 7 and the blades to 9. Then we forward it to a blend node and use a 90 degrees rotated gradient linear 1 node as foreground. We switch the mode to multiply. This helps for the overlapping part when splattering them. Now we connect it to a tile generator node. Hold shift and left mouse button to move it into the pattern input. Let's adjust the x amount to 40 and the y amount to 1 to get a single row and change the pattern to image input. For non-stretched patterns we change the side mode to keep ratio. Adjusting the size random x and y to 0.05 helps for a bit randomness and is good if we want to have later on different values for each axis. Further we push the scale to 5. To change the blending behavior we set the blending mode to max and also introduce some luminance random with a value of 0.2. Finally we add 0.1 position randomness for x and a really slightly value of 0.002 for the y axis. Here's our final base result of the setup we did before. You can use it as base welding, save this setup and use it in another project or make a custom node out of it. Let's explore a more detailed welding version. To get vertical height profile control I use a gradient linear 2 node and blend it with multiply blending mode. For a more dense and random welding I tweak the X amount and scale of the lower tile generator proportionally and further added rotation randomness. Reducing the luminance random helps me to see all the patterns. Then I add some smaller deformations with a multi-directional warp node and the clouds one as input. For the brush we simply add the levels behind the blend node and increase the level out low to 0.5. Now we just add height with this brush. Finally we add an output node at the end, save it and export it as SPSAR. In Substance Painter we click on Import Resources Choose our brush SPSAR, switch the prefix to generator and import it to our current session. Let's drag and drop the generator into the high channel and deactivate the others. We further reduce the spacing slightly, activate follow path and under dynamic stroke we switch the random C type to random per stamp. We can now paint on this layer. For further tweaks we right click onto the layer and add an anchor point. We add a fill layer on top of it, deactivate normal and height, reduce the roughness slightly and increase the metallic to 1. Further let's add a black mask by using right click again and a fill layer to that mask. Finally we choose the anchor point as grayscale, switch the reference channel to height and reduce the input maximum of the levels for contrast adjustments. We now have full control over the individual aspects of it. If you want to learn more, you can download and open the graphs shown in the video. 
Thanks for watching and we would love to hear your thoughts, ideas and suggestions for future quick tips. So let us know them in the comments. See you in the next quick tip episode.